Hey guys, I'm going live with a quick preview of LitRing 2.0 just to kind of show you what's coming so you have a better sense of it. Uh, questions are welcome. So hopefully you guys can catch this video and if you have any questions, bring them on in. All right, I've been teasing LitRing 2.0 for close to a couple months now and we're getting closer and closer to an alpha launch uh, with a few select readers. One cool thing is I did talk with Damon at BookFunnel today, and we're working on a direct integration with BookFunnel. Uh, the goal of this platform is to make it easy, affordable, and attractive to have your own author shop, where you can sell swag, signed books, digital books, audio CDs, membership boxes. Um, it's going to be tied into the main LitRing site, which already has an engaged reader base of over 75,000. Today is our first birthday, by the way. Lit Ring opened January 1st of last year, <laughs> so we've been growing really fast. Um, and basically, this is a social shop. It's combining elements of social media with e-commerce to create to build upon what Lit Ring's already created, and I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit of what's going on. I'm, it's still in development. I'm still making some design tweaks and we're still working on the technology. Uh, but my hope is that as soon as a week from now, some early users can get access. And I have hit hidden the top part of my screen share so that you don't see the URL it's on uh, since I'm not ready for members to sign up just yet. So we're gonna come on over here and log in as me. And I'll take I'll take you a look around. I'll give you a look around. So this is a vendor profile, which anybody who wants to set up e-commerce through the platform will have a vendor profile. I don't have any extra admin stuff. This is what you will see as an author selling. And there's a couple things you can do. So you can use it purely as social media, which is free. You can uh, have your reader group connect with our readers review books, have friends, send messages, things like that. There's no cost. Or you can add the e-commerce component, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a bit of both. Um, so let's start by going to, well, let's just kind of look around everywhere and I'll keep checking back for any comments. Looks like I have one that's not popping up. Elish says, thank you for all you do, Melissa. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you. Okay. So when you first come to the homepage, there's going to be a news feed, and that shows site-wide activity. So still tweaking this a little bit, but you can see that right now there's just three users, Becky, who's the Lit Ring Marketing Assistant, me, and then the admin user, which is also me. But you can see some of us are, we're making some updates and tagging and talking to each other. You can put your book trailer here. Um, it's just showing everything that's happening across the site. So that's part of discovering new people. Meet um, is the tab where you see members. And there are author profiles and reader profiles. So we don't have any readers on the site yet. You can see who's your friends and you can see everybody. So anybody who signs up, they can um, see who else is here as the community is new. As it grows, this probably won't stay. But for now, it's a great way for readers to see which authors are active in the community. And for you to find your friends. Join. Um, anybody can start a group and moderate a group. This is a great place to bring a street team. Uh, I'll show you the Lit Ring Authors group, which eventually people will be able to join. So it has forums, the ability to private message, um, statuses. We could have discussions in here by topic. So it's a little bit easier to organize than the Facebook group. And I haven't done a lot of the mods for the groups yet. Um, but we're working in a number of uh, marketing upsells for readers. So, you know, if you bring your readers over here, we're going to teach them how to be a street team for you. So you don't have to worry about reminding them to review and things. That's all being built into the site. And I'll explain that as we get to more parts. Um, under discuss, we also have forums. Um, so right now we just have some sample forums for authors. 
uh, cozy readers, ask questions, say hello, but this could be a great place to have book club topics, um, to find local friends, anything. These are the more general forums if you don't know what group you're looking in. And I'm just seeing if there's any more comments. There's not. Always have to check back to make sure. Okay, under shop, You, you see the products um, across the store, and I'm still working on this to display more and to uh, filter e more easily by category, but you can see that I've put in some products here, and we'll come back to this. Right now, the categories are signed books, swag, audio, CDs, and digital. Under sell, you're going to see, um, if you're a shopkeeper, you're going to have your full reporting dash, and it's pretty sophisticated. I'll come back to this as well, um, but you're customizing. FAC is going to be a thing that exists. <laughs> right now it's just a placeholder. Um, but this will be visible to people with author profiles only, and it will just explain how to do various things on the site. It will have some pro tips and marketing best practices and videos on how to set up and manage all aspects of your author profile, and that's going to be freely available. Win opens in a new tab and brings you back to the LitRing main site, which doesn't connect to the new site yet, but it will. Okay. Coming back in here. So, um, under shop, you can see the different products. So, these are paperbacks. And if we click here, let's look at a product listing. So, if you select the category, of a signed paperback, and I'll show you that on the, the back end, it automatically includes the required field of autography's name so that it's not like pulling teeth to get that info from readers. It's an important thing. And as you can see, um, there are, there's a reward system. So purchase this product now and earn 15 points. For every dollar they spend in the store, they are gonna get a point and 10 points equal $1. So a bit of a loyalty program, still working out a lot of the to-do there, but the loyalty program is funded by us, not by you. So if somebody purchases another author's books and gets a lot of points and wants yours for free, you will still be paid for that full price. All right, down here we have the description and it's automatically populating related products from my store. Reviews. So this is kind of cool. Readers are going to be able to write reviews of your products. Um, and when they do, they're going to get an email because they're going to get points for leaving reviews. Um, and they're also going to get an email encouraging them to cross post that review to Amazon and other places and talking about how much it means to authors. So we're really, like I said, we're going to be teaching readers how to behave with authors and how to act like a street team and support the authors they care about. So a lot of built-in features like that. You'll see the reviews. It defaults to five stars uh, for people who don't have ratings yet rather than zero stars. Um, so that's kind of nice. Seller info, I have my little bio here. And shipping, um, it defaults to a $5 flat fee per order for shipping within the U.S. We might change that with time, but with books, media mail, it's going to be even less than that, and the author keeps the full amount. Um, we're also going to have a warehouse option for international authors who um, maybe haven't been selling signed books or even giving signed books to their street team because it's so expensive to ship from like Australia to the U.S. I'm still working out the pricing on the... Um, warehousing, but I'm I'm trying to find a way to make it extremely affordable. Um, so that is coming. <laughs> um, also, you'll see here I'm the shop owner. And if, if you click my name, you're going to go to my profile. And if you click down here, sold by, you're going to come to my store. And I'll show you both. Here's my store. You can have a custom banner. We're going to have a default banner um, for people who don't have their own design. I'm going to show you how to add it as well. Um, we will have a slight upsell if anybody wants a custom banner designed. I'm going to make that really inexpensive, maybe like 20 bucks. 
Um, but you can also design your own. I'm saving templates for everything. And as soon as you sign up, you'll have the templates for the correct banner size, um, for the correct thumbnail sizes, all of that. But this is my own author store. So I was almost going to tell you the URL. It's supposed to be a secret, <laughs> but it's a really cute, pretty URL that I can easily share with my readers. You can see me and click to my profile. You can filter by product. Um, and I put this book on sale, so it automatically got the sale tag. Um, and you'll also see my paperbacks versus my digital download. And I have an audiobook too. Here's my audiobook. Um, and then you can search for things too. Dog. <laughs> and it brought up my sled dog series. So pretty good. So that's the shop. The um, profile, I have my image and then it links to my shop here showing my friends. I can integrate my other profiles and I have a user name of Melissa, that's very convenient. There's a Facebook, like classic, Facebook retro style where you can post updates. So I had some of my book covers and stuff. You can upload media, no problem. Um, you can look at the profile and um, you can actually, there's a checklist when you sign up of genres. So you can click which genres you write in and readers can click which genres they read and that all integrates with the site and with our newsletter and my bio. And as I said, there's an author or a reader style profile. So I have a runny nose. Um, I can view my friends and friend requests, following and followers if I want to follow shops. Um, it also shows all of my products right here. And if I favorite other shops right now, the only shop is my shop. It'll show up there. See which groups I belong to or create a new group. So you could create an individual street team or author collective here. It's showing, this is only for me, but it's showing orders. Um, what else have we got? Forums, photos. I uploaded some, of, some pictures here to kind of round it out. And then it ends with send invites if you want to invite your friends. And there'll be a reward system for that as well. Okay. So that's the personal profile. You can see that you can send private messages and you get notifications. So up in the main menu, besides the items we've gone through, you have the logo, um, private messages, which I don't have any right now, but kind of a good read style here notifications, stuff going on, and your cart. And you can also do a cross sell. So if somebody adds one product of yours to the cart, you could promote another product over here if you wanted to. And I'm going to explain how to do all of that. But it automatically throws that shipping in there, makes things easy. And that's not $5 per product, it's $5 per order, but there will be a weight limit. There's a lot of uh, little things like that I'm still working on. So I'm going to see if there's any comments or questions. This is perfect. I pay about $16 for every signed book and swag I send out from Canada. Oh, yes, it'll be much, much cheaper for you, Marie. And Dana says, this looks really awesome. Thank you. So let me show you a little bit more. All right. So I'm going to show you the interface that we're working on. So when you want to add a new product, you just click new product and um, you can put in the product name, um, swag example. And here's the different categories. I'm working on hiding author memberships because that's for you guys. You're not selling them. Uh, but right now you can choose from audio CDs, digital downloads, sign books, or swag. And if you choose signed books, it's automatically going to add the autography field. If you choose digital downloads, it's going to automatically work with the book funnel integration that Damon and his team are working on. So you don't have to worry about custom hooks. It's going to be, it's going to remove a step and make it easier because they're awesome. 
And I am still working on this interface to simplify it, but let's, so let's do a book example, actually. So sign books, and then you can put in the text. I guess I'm gonna do that from my existing product here. And you can, this is a WordPress interface, so you could add extra images and whatever you wanna do here. Um, product image is where you'd put your book cover. You could add other photos like the inside of the book or the picture of the signature to make a gallery. And in here, you can do a simple product, you can create a bundle, and you can create a subscription. If you want to do a monthly box, you could do that. Um, it would create a recurring, um, like every quarter, every month, you can determine that. And I'm paring down this menu as much as possible, so it's as easy as possible to get set up. But you will have full support from our team as well as the videos. Um, you can set the regular price, and if you want it to be on sale, you can set that too. Um, right now, the points field is here. This is going to be automatic, so I'm going to remove it. It's one dollar per one point per dollar spent. Um, you can track your inventory. You can cross sell, this is what I showed you with checkout. You can cross sell another one of your products or more than one. And you can choose an add on. So you could add the, a free digital download with the signed book. And that's a really great value add. So I'm gonna publish this and show you what it looks like. So there it is. It added the autography's name. It's showing that it's on sale. You have the sale tag. You have the points and everything automatically populated. That's how quick and easy it is. It's already taken care of the um, shipping. It's automatically added to my store. It's pretty awesome. If I just say so myself, it's really, really fast and easy to set up. Now let me show you the vendor. Um, so under sell, this is what, um, so keep on top of your shop. So you could also add a product from here. You can create coupons that are for your store only. So as an admin, I can create coupons for the whole, for everybody across all the store and any discounts like that, you would still be paid full price. You can also create coupons specifically for use in your shop. So if you want to get people over here to follow you or to check out your swag, you could do a coupon for a free download of a digital book. You could have them save on their first purchase. You could have a free shipping coupon, all kinds of stuff. And it's going to show you how much money you're earning from the site, how much you've been paid out. Um, it's going to show you your orders that have come in one by one here what's selling, um, what's recently posted and been viewed. These are all free downloads because you can do free as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Products, it's going through. So you can see all your products and inventory. You can manage from here. You can add a new product from here. So that's everything at a glance. Orders. So I was doing testing of the book funnel integration, so I ordered my own ebook a lot of times. Um, and you can also filter by date. Settings, you create your unique store name that's part of your URL. So mine's Mel Storm. You can put the description. You can also check vacation mode in case you want to have your shop on pause for a little bit but don't want to disable it. Payment, uh, you, got, you can put your PayPal address in there for direct payment. Branding, this is where I uploaded my custom banner. So that's really easy. And if it, you upload a banner that's too big, it will automatically crop it. If you upload a, a banner with a transparency, it will automatically put the turquoise that's part of the site branding behind it. Shipping, um, I'm gonna simplify this menu way down so you're not gonna see all these options. Um, but yeah, and then you click view store to see your storefront. Here's mine. So that's that. Okay, let me see if there's any more comments. 
Uh, Dana says, on the current version, it's $5 for a book submission. Does the membership on 2.0 cost anything or is it per book again? Sorry, that's probably something you've already answered in the Facebook group, but I couldn't find it in my quick search. But that is not something I've answered because the main Lit Ring site is for book listings, newsletter building, um, and giveaways. So there's going to be a lot of integrations between the sites. Um, but you can, you can, um, Create your profile as an author and start engaging with the community for free. It's if you want to become a vendor that there's a cost. And that's selling direct, so the money goes direct to you. Um, so that you could still list an advertisement on the main Lit Ring site separately. Um, we are going to be adding some integrations between the two sites where if you're on, um, if you're doing a listing for one of the main Lit Ring promos, sorry about my chihuahua. If you're doing a listing for one of the main Lit Ring promos, you could add a link to sell directly from your site. If you want to add a signed paperback or to buy the book directly from here, you can link back to, to Lit Ring 2.0 or the social shop. Um, other, There'll be ad opportunities. Um, we're also integrating with our active campaign newsletter to if somebody views a product of yours more than once, um, it's going to send them an email to nudge them to, hey, make that purchase uh, because we're learning with the data from the website, from Google Analytics, from the newsletter, um, all of that purchase history. We can really customize the sales. Um, I'm also looking into a platform to replace the Goodreads giveaways that are now paid um, in several hundred dollars each. I'm looking for a really... Um, quick, easy way that will be free or very inexpensive for authors with uh, with shopkeeper status. So if you have a shopkeeper membership, um, you would be able to run a giveaway. And I think I know how that's going to work. But you can send readers here to enter for a chance to win, and it would specify that they're agreeing to follow you in your shop. Um, so that's forthcoming. Okay. So... All of this, the plan is there are three membership levels. So you can pay monthly, quarterly, or yearly. And you save big if you do a longer period of time. But these, this, includes, um, this includes all the technology, a custom page for your shop. It, it handles everything. And you get paid actually daily. Um, it will send the money daily rather than having a holding period of once a month for royalties. If um, And when you first sign up for a shopkeeper profile, there is a $20 sign-up fee, which is non-refundable because of how much um, support just to help you get up and running. My, I have Becky on this full time for anybody who needs help. I'll be spending extra time helping people too. Um, so there is that setup fee, which is non-refundable, but then monthly, it would be either $15 if you pay by the month, $35 for every three months. I need to get the calculator out. So that's $11.66, and if you do it by the year, it's $8.33. So it's as little as $8 a month, and you don't have to worry about the technology. You don't have to worry about the integrations. There's the added social discoverability component. Readers can get into the loyalty program. You can issue coupons. Um, there's a lot of extra you can do, and you don't have to worry about so much because we're making it as simple and easy as possible with full support, with a direct book funnel integration, um, and with new features coming all the time. So, um, and one thing we're also looking forward to is offering subscription boxes that Lit Ring provides, um, where we would buy your uh, books were, and swag we're interested in including, and we would pay you for those, and you would get the advertising. Also, in our Lit Ring giveaways, we're going to start doing store credit so that readers can win one of our giveaways and then come and buy your products. So, um, let's see. Amy says, this is amazing. So many obstacles that have stopped me in the past are removed with this site. I'm blown away by it, Melissa. Well done. Thank you for all you do for us indie authors. Yay, that's what I was hoping for. And Denise says, that's awesome. Thanks so much for this seriously in-depth video. And Marie says, I can't wait for this. This is awesome. 
I'm really excited about all the possibilities here. Um, there's even more coming because we're taking the best of what Lit Ring already does and adding in the social and the shop components to take it to the next level. If you've engaged with our Lit Ring VIP reader group on Facebook, which is nearing 9,000 members, then you know how much they love having that platform to engage, how much they love talking to authors um, directly and they want more signed books and we want to reward our loyal members. We want to get them reviewing. We want to get them sharing and talking about the books they love. We want to remove that obstacle to chatting with authors because some readers are um, intimidated. We want to make it as easy as possible. For your readers who aren't on Facebook, may maybe they will feel more comfortable with the social shop. So a lot more coming. I'm glad that everybody's excited. Uh, I really hope to have the alpha launch uh, up and running soon so that we can bring a few more members in who can start creating shops. Um, stay tuned and thank you for watching and thank you for your kind comments. Bye guys.